Hello everyone! Today I am talking all about book boxes and what book box is right for you. So I did this video actually last year, I want to say in spring, where I talked all about different book boxes and what they're all about and things like that. And I thought I would do this video again, namely for a couple reasons. There have been some companies or book boxes that I've talked about in my previous video that have shut down or are no longer in existence. Also there have been a whole bunch of new book boxes that have come out since then and also there have been new ones that have come to my attention because just so you know I don't talk about every single book box in this video because we would be here forever. I just talk about some of the most popular ones and maybe some you haven't heard of and just try to do a wide array if that makes any sense because I think you know if I talked about all of them we would be here forever. So that's why I'm doing this video again and because I get questions a lot about which book box should I get like should I get out should I get uppercase? do all those other things. Really, it's personal preference. Whatever you want and what you're looking for would be great for you, but I thought this video might help if I just tell you about some of the book boxes and what the prices are and what they are about and things like that. So that's what this video is aiming for, just to kind of give you information about all the book boxes out there. I'm going to link every single book box that I talk about down below in the info box as well as their price. So if I have any coupon codes for any of these boxes, I will also leave down below. Please note that this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting commission on any of these coupon codes. I have just reached out to the book box and asked that they would supply a coupon code for you guys. So maybe you'll be more inclined to go visit their site if you can get some money off and I am all for getting money off. So just know that not sponsored, not getting commission on any of these codes. They're just to help save some money for you guys. So I just want to throw that out there that no money is being exchanged in this video at all and I'm glad for that. Before I begin, I do talk about the prices of each of these boxes, but let me just say that prices are very scaled like I I try to find on every book box where the price begins so every price I'm talking about is like like the beginning price and that doesn't include shipping or doesn't include if you add something else or a lot of book boxes will have a light option or like a deluxe option or things like that I'm just kind of giving you a general kind of price range for each of these boxes if that makes any sense all these boxes do not I think include shipping so I'll say plus shipping and that is different for each book box. There's no set ones I've seen that is like the same. Like, know that I don't go into the price a lot because it, I would be here forever because there's like, you know, so and so for this option. But if you get option two, it's this much. If you get a three month subscription, it's this much. If you get a one month subscription, it's this much. It gets very daunting. So I'm just getting you, I'm just telling you the general price range or where it starts from so you know and you have a good baseline to establish with the price you want to spend. So the first book boxes I want to talk about are probably the most popular ones and that is the YA themed one. So that's the first ones I'm going to be talking about today. So number one, the one I want to talk about that probably is the most popular of all is, is Alcray. Alcray is a monthly YA book box. It is themed each month. So every month they release a theme and they tell you kind of you can guess what the book's going to be with with clues and things like that and you get three to five coinciding items with that theme. So Alcrate starts at $28 plus shipping, just so you know for the price. I love Alcrate. I get them every single month and I really enjoy all of their book selections. I really say if you want a wide scope of YA, they use, they do contemporary, they do fantasy, they'll do sci-fi, they'll do all the genres are that are within YA. So another very popular box is Fairy Loot. Fairy Loot is actually UK based so in case you are on that side of the water maybe Fairy Loot is the option for you because of shipping and I get that could be pricey. Fairy Loot is also a YA book box but instead it is only fantasy based. So in Fairy Loot you'll only get YA fantasy or maybe sci-fi but I'm thinking it's mostly fantasy heavy and again like Alcrate they are themed each month. You get three to five coinciding items with that theme. Fairy Loot I believe begins at 26 pounds I guess just to say technically because it is UK plus shipping. I do know if you live in the US shipping is probably a lot more or if you live in another country. So just in case you're on that side of the water and looking for something, Fairy Loot might be the option for you. Another YA book box is Lit Joy Crate. Lit Joy Crate is also themed each month. Like I said, all the ones I'm talking about right now are themed. And I believe Lit Joy Crate also does all genres that are within the YA's 
you know, spectrum. And again, you get three to five coinciding items and they're really awesome. I received their box a couple of times and have enjoyed it. They're really quality products, I would say. My crate begins at $30 plus shipping as well. So I believe they are US based. New box that has come to my attention. I don't know how new they are, but they are called the Bookie Box and they are YA themed as well. And I believe you get six different options as far as themes or like maybe genres of them YA. I'm not quite sure on that. So I'll link their site down below. And I think you get three to five coinciding items with the theme each month. So that's great. They start off at $23 plus shipping. So again, like I said, I'll link them down below. Another new one that has released kind of recently, or I'd say within this year is Unicorn Crate. And again, they are like Fairy Loot, but they are only fantasy YA book based. So they are themed each month and you get three to five coinciding items with that theme only just like Fairy Loot only YA fantasy books. $37 plus shipping. So yeah, links will be down below as I keep on saying. Um, another new one that has come to my attention is Shelf Love Crate and they are fantasy and sci-fi themed. So in case you're loving YA, only fantasy or sci-fi, check out Shelf Love Crate. They have, um, again, I think three to five coincident items with the theme. I think that's a very popular thing to do with especially with YA book boxes is to have a theme and pick three to five coinciding items with that theme and the book. So they are $30 plus shipping. Luna Crate. I'm probably saying that wrong. I cannot, I don't know why I can't say it. I think they're based in Australia if I'm not mistaken. I think they are or the UK. They um I think also are only fantasy and sci-fi based if I'm not mistaken. Again, oh they are also only a quarterly book box. So quarterly book boxes mean instead of every month, you get them every, I think quarterly is every three or four months in a year. So in case you just want a book box every now and then, a Luna Crate might be the one for you. $30 plus shipping, but I do know that they have free shipping if you live in the UK. So I believe they are a UK based company. I think, I'm not sure. Sorry, there's a lot of information, so I don't have all of it, but I'll link it down below for you. Whimsify and they are YA fantasy based as well. We have a lot of YA fantasy based ones. If you want to just fantasy go on a crazy fantasy binge, you got a lot to choose from. And again, they're themed with three to five coinciding items. They are $35 plus shipping. So yeah, all of those will be linked down below. So next one I want to talk about is Once Upon a Book Club. This is both YA and adult. They have two options for you. Once Upon a book club is kind of an interactive book club so while you read the book there will be gifts that you the items that you get will be wrapped and it'll say page like 35 so when you get to page 35 in your book it'll say open your gift and then you'll open the coinciding item to that and it'll be something that directly relates to the book so you know I've gotten their box a few times and it really does work in case they talk about a purse in the book you'll get the, like kind of a purse that's exactly described like the one in the book or things like that so they're a very unique reading experience box so something a little bit different than your average kind of themed box upon a book club is great for that because it's really an immersive of reading experience Club is $35 plus shipping moving on to the non theme ones honestly I don't have a ton to share with you guys because a lot of book boxes are themed especially YA ones in particular so the one non themed one that I always talk about is uppercase box uppercase box is a YA book box and it does not have any sort of specific um, genre other than YA. Anything within YA can be sent out in uppercase. You just never know what the book is. Sometimes they'll give you very vague hints, but I have never guessed the hint correctly when it comes to that. With uppercase also is, if you're just looking for a book a month, uppercase is the way to go because they only send one to two bookish items with it. And it's definitely a great box for somebody that doesn't want the frills and all the goodies and stuff like that. If you just want the book, uppercase is a great one for you. Uppercase box is is $23 plus shipping. Also another book box that is not themed and that is Page Habit. Page Habit has a wide array of genres to choose from. You can choose either from literary fiction, mystery, fantasy, YA, romance, horror, historical fiction, or sci-fi. So you have eight different options to choose from and I believe each month you can change your option. Like just because you sign up for YA doesn't mean you're gonna be YA forever. You can change it each and every month I believe. As in this box as well I think you get two to three bookish items and they're all the same no matter what box you get or what genre but you can change up your genre so it's not themed but they have a wide array of different genres age habit is $23 plus shipping um, and yeah those are like the YA ones I really want to talk about now moving on to adult boxes I get a lot of questions about those as well because I do feel like the YA book boxes kind of dominate the scene because you know YA is very big on book two but there are a ton of adult book boxes that I had never heard of until I did some research and 
I am very excited to talk about because they sound amazing. So just know that in case you're wanting a book box and you're like, oh, it's so saturated with YA, there's a ton of adult ones to choose from and I hope I can help you guys out. The first one and very popular one is Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a box where you pick what books you want. So in the first of each month, Book of the Month will come out with and say these are our five choices of the month and they have a panel of judges that chooses them and you can decide if you want all five of them or if you want one of them. It's whatever you want. So basically it's just kind of a discounted book box if you will because you're getting um, a lot better rate than going out to the store and getting them and it's already getting what you know. They come with no goodies, nothing. It's just a Book of the Month. It said you pick out what books you want and if you don't, if you're not interested in any books in that month, you can skip a month. So it's very, very customizable to what you want. They start off at $10 a month, I believe, for one book, which is a great price. So I definitely would check them out. Very, very popular. They do mostly do adult books. They do occasionally throw in some YA ones and they do a wide array of adult books, like historical, a lot of um, mystery thrillers, a lot of literary fiction, some romance. They do adult genre just in general. The box that I just found out that I really love is called Coffee and a Classic. I love the name of that as well. The box you get a classic book each month plus something to drink, more than likely coffee, and other bookish items. I do not believe it's themed because obviously we have classics so I think they do really pretty editions of classics too if I'm not mistaken. So in case you are a classic lover and you just love collecting any edition of classic books this would be a great box for you and if you're a big coffee drinker this is a great box for you as well because it sounds kind of very you know coffee and a classic it sounds really cool and I'm very interested in it even though I don't read a ton of classics so this box starts off at $25 plus shipping another new box that has come to my attention is called the apostrophe box and this box comes with newly released literary fiction books as well as gourmet coffee and other high-end items um, I've noticed a lot of adult boxes come with a lot of coffee and tea so in case you're into that pick any adult book box and you're good to go this sounds really great in case you're just loving any literary fiction adult book this sounds like a great box this is $29 plus shipping speaking of coffee we have my coffee and book club and this comes with this delivers 12 ounces of ground or whole bean micro roasted gourmet coffee and you get two hardcover books into your chosen category and I think and an ebook selection to your door each month. So you can choose between different genres. Right here I see that we have acclaimed fiction, acclaimed nonfiction, mystery, thriller, horror, science fiction, fantasy, or you can choose to surprise me and just surprise a book. So in this one you get definitely coffee and you get two hardcover books and an ebook to your door each and every month. So a lot of things in this box. So in case you're just in it for reading and straight up coffee, this sounds like a great box for you. This box starts off at $39 plus shipping. Moving into kind of a subgenre of adult boxes, I wanna talk about romance boxes. So we have a few of those. Number one is called the Bookworm Box, and this is actually created by author Colleen Hoover, if I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of her. She has, she comes out with a box each month and it comes with one to two romance novels I think um, you can choose them if I'm not mistaken and it comes with some book swag so in case you're really into Colleen Hoover and the type of things she writes and just romance in general I would definitely check out this box for you in case you're like a romance junkie um, so they are $33 plus shipping Another kind of romance box or I guess women's fiction box if you will is called Hello Book Lover they have two books to pick from I'm not sure if you can choose both or if you have to choose just one I'm not sure on that so again the link will be down below for you to figure out more. They also come with one to two goodies and they can be from beauty, stationery, candles, and coffee and things like that. They start off at $28 plus shipping. I have to say when looking at their um, pictures I love their packaging and very interested in this box because I love the name. Hello book lover. So yeah I'd say women's fiction is kind of romantic but not most of the time. I'd say women's fiction is very kind of akin to literary fiction honestly. Um, so yeah definitely check those out in case you are romantic at heart and love all the romance books. Now moving on from my horror mystery and thriller fans because I know you guys are out there. The first one I want to talk about is Nocturnal's Reader's Box. Nocturnal Reader's Box um, comes with two books each month. They get one new release and one kind of older release and then you get 8 to 11. That's right 8 to 11 bookish items. They 
they have like a wearable, whether it be like a hat or a pin. I think you get a bookmark, you get usually stickers, like a whole bunch of things like that. They're $35 plus shipping, the horror genre. Definitely check out Nocturnal's Reader. Another one is called My Thrill Club. I love the name of that. And this one has horror, mystery, and thriller all in the selections. With this one, you get two new hardcover books plus an ebook selection. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know if there's a ton of goodies with it, but in case, you know, you get like two free, you get two hardcover books, which is great. They are $26 and they have free shipping in the US. So just want to note that out for you in case you live in the US and you love all things like horror, mystery, and thriller. Definitely check them out. The last box I want to talk about is called Murder She Sent. I love book boxes names like they're so amazing <laughs> this one is a cozy mystery box so cozy mysteries are kind of mystery books but they're kind of I think have a different twist on them or much more lighter I think a lot of people love cozy mystery books so if you do definitely check out this box it has one new book for each month and four handmade artisan items and this is $35 plus shipping so there you have it. Those are all the book boxes I am telling you guys about today. Again, like I said, I did not mention every single book box out there because I know there are a ton more that are out there. So I just wanted to highlight these because I wanted to get different genres and things like that. So I hope I gave you a good wide array of them within YA, YA fantasy, adult books, literary fiction, classics, horror, mystery, romance, and women's fiction. I hope I talked about a good mixture of all of the genres. Like I said, all these boxes will be linked down below as well as any coupon codes and their general prices. In case you are shopping for a book box, I hope this video helped you out even the littlest bit to help you steer you in the right direction that you want. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these type of videos, if you want to do, if you want me to do more, maybe I could do a comparison of different book boxes each month and tell you which one I think might be better for you. I don't know I just love informing you guys about different book boxes because I know there are a ton out there so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did be sure to give this video a thumb up and be sure to hit subscribe to see more bookish videos on this channel and I will see you guys in my next video bye